Okay, hi, um, my name is Linda Hardesty, Editor-in-Chief of Fierce Wireless, and I'm here at the Ericsson booth at Mobile World Congress uh, with Yossi Cohen, and he's the President and CEO of Ericsson North America. And we just had a nice chat about things that are going on between Ericsson and AT&T, and I did want to ask you, um, Yossi, um, I, there was kind of a dispute um, that happened maybe last fall in terms of MIMO interfaces um, in the Open RAN Alliance. And um, I'd love to hear your perspective on whatever happened with that. Thank you. Uh, so the complexities here is that at the end of the day, we uh, adopted open, open Run a little bit later than, than the other. The reason for that is we felt that the standard is not really ready for the performance that, similar to the ones that we had on the proprietary interface. You have to remember that globally we are competing against players like Huawei, etc., that don't have to do this, and we need to make sure that Open Run interface it has the right performance to basically utilize the spectrum and provide the right user experience and performance to our customers. And the dispute was mostly around performance. The dispute was, okay, how do we make sure that the interface is optimized to, be, to provide the best user experience and to provide the bands back for the buck when it comes to our customers and the spectrum that they bought? Uh, so, and I think the, uh, the dispute has been resolved uh, and we feel that we are comfortable now to move forward like we announced with the AT&T deal and uh, move ahead with Oran. And how was the dispute resolved? Did it turn out that there are two ways to solve the interface? I think the open run allowed to two ways, and then OEMs can choose how they want to implement that, yes. Okay. All right. Um, that should do it. Thank you so much, Yossi. Great talking with you.